Welcome guys. So today we are going to talk about PHP sessions. Now again, session is one of the little bit complicated topics and on the advanced PHP side and I know some of you are a little bit uh, not comfortable with sessions. So we'll try to make it easier. So what is a session? Um, so in the previous tutorial we have discussed about cookies and we said cookies is a way to transmit variables from within the application or within the web pages you visit. So session is another way to do it. So session allows you to store the variables in the server. So let's say you know you went to a e-commerce sites and you are adding different items. So what instead of adding the items on your uh, through browser cookie you can create a session at the server and then assign an ID which is associated with the uh, particular user's uh, browser instance uh, and then you can keep on adding um, items to that as people as the user is uh, adding the different items on his shopping cart. Now so session allows you to store variables as I was saying in the server and you can get uh, the you can get the variables now as I said let's say you are you're going from one web page to another page and you are adding items so the the in the server side you are storing everything on that uh, user session now each session is identified as a session ID so for example you go to one web page you go to the first web page the session ID is created and you go to the next web page and you add an item so the the item is added to your server <coughs> excuse me attached with your session id now the question comes how do you really transmit the session id from one page to another page well to do that you either do it uh, through a, a get parameter that means you know you attach it uh, from when you go from one page to another page you make it as a part of the url um, or you can do it with cookie now the problem with cookie is that if the cookies are disabled then you have only way to do it is is uh, is through a get parameter or you know some sort of a uh, post parameter. So let, let you know without instead of further talking much, let me show you quickly a um, few things. So now here we are looking at a, a session implementation. So as you see, we start with a session start. So what is session start? Session start means it allows you to create a new session or if you put a session ID, let's say you put a session ID which is alphanumeric, uh, then it will retrieve the session based on that ID. So since this is our, let's say this is our test.php is our first page, so we uh, start the session and then here and then we have some HTML uh, stuff and then here again we are storing um, the number of views on the on the site. So for example, we are saying if the views variable is set, then add plus one. As you are saying, this is views is a session variable. Or uh, just if it is the first one, then just set it to one and then echo it. So if the views already exist, that means we have already started viewing the website. That means add it to the existing number or start with one. Fine. Now one thing important, as I said, the session start is again associated with it's something like cookie where it has to be the header information. So that means you cannot have you know HTML stuff here. So it has to be the part of the first uh, browser, you know, first message which the browser receives. So here, uh, as you see, we are going to the next page and we are passing the session ID. So session ID is a function which gives you the session ID, the unique session ID which is associated with the session. So let's, so this is our test.php. Um, okay, so as you see here, this is our first page and views is 37, ID is this. So since I have been using this page again and again. That's why we have already started this page. Now, if you want to start a new session, then um, 
we can certainly do it but let me let's assume that we are already in a session and then here if you see i have passing the session id so when you go to the next page so we have 37 see we have now 38 and if you see what has happened is that i have passed the session id with an array uh, through a get parameter in as means which is a part of the url and which is the next and the code for the next page which is test 1 here if you see again the first first code you know before anything prints in the browser i've got this one so session start and i'm passing the session id so that means i'm retrieving the existing session and then here again i am adding to the views so when that means when you come 37 when you come here 38 you, you get a number added so now if you go back and you refresh this one you will get because you are still in the same session you will get 39 37 but it is already 38 because it's this page so you will get 39 if you refresh this page you get 39 again you come here the next page if you uh, refresh this page again you will get 40 so as you see uh, how the session two things to note one is that how we are maintaining the session we are passing the session id in the get parameter and and adding to the same session variable which is views and also how we are initializing and starting the session now let's see if you want to destroy the session how do you do that so that destroying the session let's say is called session destroy so let's start a new session so so we just start a new session okay oops looks like the code didn't work let's refresh again uh, let's see. okay let's unset the views not sure if this is contributing so what the what I'm doing here is that I am unsetting the views variable so that means the views parameter is gone from the session so and let's add okay let's do this first let's see. so here I would expect um, hmm so looks like there's some problem in the code because of which session is not getting initialized so let's investigate what's going on okay so we I discovered the error we were adding the session destroy in the test one file uh, instead of test file since you cannot have uh, a test one because session was getting initialized here in test so that's why you have to have session destroy so so anyway so right now I have destroyed the session and I have restarted the session so as you see here okay so we just reset the views now let's say I want to introduce you to one more call, code call or one more session function is called unset. So anytime you want to initialize uh, the or the unsetting the session variable, you have to use unset. So let's say we set the session and then we add the views and then it, here in the second page we add one views we increment it by one. At the end of the second page we unset the views. So if you go, if you do that then the views variable gets initialized so that when you again go back to a first page you pretty much start over so let's solve that as an example uh, so let's see what's going on so here we have this one views and if we go to the next page so we have four so we have increased it from three to four but then here also we have initialized the view so now if here if you start it you'll probably start again with one if you go back to the first page as you see you have again because you are unsetting the session here so those are the session concepts uh, so I hope uh, it was clear for you so few things to remember session is a way to store uh, variables uh, user variables on the server side but to but you still need a, a way to communicate between pages uh, the session ID so the way you do that is you pass it through a 
get parameter which is a part of URL or you can do it through a cookie. With that, uh, that's pretty much about the session. So, hope to see you in our next tutorial. Thank you.